love to teach people simple ways of doing things to have better health, to be happier or whatever. And this is specifically, literally, seven simple steps to healthy breasts, which will also help improve the movement of your lymphatic system and obviously help to increase your immune system. Um, many years ago in 1983, I was diagnosed with a four-stage poorly differentiated small cell lymphoma and was told that I had less than six months to live. So, and even though it was a disease that was in my lymphatic system, so often, not a hundred percent, but so often with breast cancer, it's more in the lymphatic system that is just um, has just, can't think of the word, but it's just right there in the lymphatic region. Because one of the things, and I'm just going to kind of move this around, is with the lymphatic system, there is more lymphatic nodes, vessels, capillaries within this region than any other portion of the body from under the arms along the collarbone, even hair-like, tiny, tiny hair-like lymphatic capillaries right just barely under the surface of the breast tissue. And of course, the major lymphatic vessels are underneath the sternum, all right? And because I had to understand the lymphatic system so much because of what I was dealing with with illness, it helped me in understanding how to improve the health of that. Does anybody know that the lymphatic system is considered an open system? and not a closed system. There is nothing that moves the lymph fluid except your breath and exercise, all right? The circulatory system is a closed system. The heart, it pumps it, all right? So we're going to learn some things to move the lymphatic system. And you guys, what you're going to learn is how to keep your bodies healthier because, I mean, if you're keeping your lymphatic system clean, you're going to be healthier. There are a few very rare cases where men actually develop breast cancer, but that's not in the lymphatic system when that occurs. Interesting enough is women that develop breast cancer often, not always, it has to do with the constriction due to bras. And men, what do they have? Prostate cancer. And what do they often want to wear is those cute little tight undies that just cut off circulation. Okay? So what I've got here is a sheet. On one side it gives the seven simple steps. We're going to talk about them. The back side actually gives some books listed, some references, so that you have that as well. All right? This makes it very, very, very simple. What does it take? A couple of minutes a day. All right? The first thing on here you're going to see, it says dry brush. All right? And with dry brush, actually this is what I use at home. All right, this is what I carry around in a suitcase. If I forget this, I, if I'm at a hotel, I get really a rough uh, towel, like washcloth or hand towel. All right, now the lymphatic system, and I didn't even know this until I had to go in for a lymphangiogram, and it's where they take these hair-like needles and they insert it into a lymphatic capillary in the top of the foot on both feet. I've got little incisions on the top of my feet. And um, you're laying down and then they put weight on the end of the syringe so it can go in very, very slowly because you, you don't want to bust these little vessels. Because in the lymphatic system, the gates, they only go one way. They only open up one way. So they're shooting this dye up me, and it takes really a couple hours to get this dye up in you, so if you have to go and pee, which I did, it's a real hassle, okay? And so with this dye, they find out where there is blockages in the lymphatic system, all right? So with the dry brush, what you literally do is you take this and you do this before you get in the shower, or you can do it when you get out of the shower. I prefer right before I get in. And the neat part is it makes your skin a lot nicer, too, because it gets rid of the dead skin cells. But you start at your feet. Okay, you're going to follow that lymphatic path 
both gaze, and you work your way up, front and back of the legs, both legs. Make sure you get your hiney, okay, your lower back, your hands, your arms. And what you're doing is you're working your way to the sternum. Now this, even though if you rub your hand across, it doesn't feel that harsh. But for women, not so much with men, it's a little bit harsh on your breast tissue. Okay? So I usually just get underneath my breast with it. And if you want, just take a washcloth and go over your breast tissue. Okay? And this will keep you healthy. And then when you get in the shower, it washes off the dead skin cells. You can massage your lymphatic system. And you'll become healthier doing that. All right? The next one on here, of course, is the bra. Interesting, there is a book, and you'll find it listed on the back. You can prevent breast cancer by Harvey Diamond. He and his ex-wife brought to the forefront the natural hygiene program. And we won't go into that. That'll be another lecture. But um, through the studies that he did, and you can read the book because it's very extensive, you can reduce chances of breast cancer literally by over 50% by going without a bra. All right? It's not really considered acceptable in our society to go without a bra. All right? Austin is more acceptable than Dallas. Okay? But still, (laughs) there's some areas that they still want you to wear a bra for you to be proper. So what I say is if you're wearing something with an underwire, all right, this is if you take your bra off and you've got lines, you've got indentions, all right, it's too tight. You want to make sure you can slide your fingers up under it, all right. They're making some of the wires um, where it's more of a plastic. It's a little bit softer. Uh, but you could also go with something, Jockey makes one, where there's absolutely no wire in it. And I actually, the last time I gave this lecture, there was a woman that says Warner, which is a cheap bra, which is pretty cool. Bras get pretty expensive. Makes what's called a Friday bra. I never heard of that, and I thought that was pretty cool. And they said it, there's no wire, but there is actually a lot of support in it. But I also say uh, make sure you go without a bra for a certain period of time. I mean, when I was little, I remember my grandma sleeping all night with her bra on. Okay? And uh, if you're not comfortable going without a bra, put on a sports bra. But make sure it's a little bit big so it feels a little bit more like a shelf bra because you've got to move. If these things are moving, that liver is going to be moving, okay? So you want to make sure you jiggle when you walk. Alright? Some people just, they don't want to move at all. You know, men do it more with the hair thing. The wind blows and the hair stands still. You know, well women, let your boobs move a bit. Let your breasts move a bit. You know, and as far as men, you know, even though we're not talking about the prostate, get some boxer shorts. Okay? Let some air in there. And uh, the next thing on here I've got is trampoline. And this is a fun way to move your lymphatic system. Okay? The neat thing about a trampoline is because when you bounce, what happens is these little gates go chum, 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 chum. Remember those little lymphatic gates that only go one way? If you've got them opening and closing, opening and closing, what do you think's happening? Your lymph's moving, right? Okay. In Chinese medicine, they refer to something called a, a static chi, and that has to do with a lack of blood circulating in your legs, but it also has to do with a lack of lymphatic moving in your legs too. So you keep both your blood moving and your lymphatics. Now here's the thing. If you go to Academy and you buy a rebounder, you're going to damage your skeletal system 
and not do what you need to do for your body. They have little tiny springs that are about this big, and the material that you jump on is very restrictive. So what happens is as you jump, you're jumping where your joints are at a tilt. So you wind up having knee problems, back problems, ankle problems, because it completely throws your skeletal system out. There is a type of bounce that is trampoline that's known as a soft bounce. All right, the one I have is called Cellucizer. Um, the gentleman's name is Dave Hall, but there's a couple of people, and what happened? I don't have anything to draw it, so I'll do it in the air. They have double springs on each portion, and the springs are a little bit longer, and they're narrower at the ends and larger in the middle. And then the material that you jump on is actually a material out of NASA that allows literally your feet land even, all right? You go down and up the same way. On the other rebounders, because you're at this angle, you might go off this way, all right? So please don't run out to Academy because you'll be just wasting your 40 bucks. You'll have to put it outside and let your dog lay on it. <laughs> Um, I would go on the internet and either enter in Cellucizer, and that's spelled uh, C E, I mean, yeah, C E L L E R C I S E R, or Soft Bounce Trampoline. The neat thing with these is with the trampoline, you're massaging all of your internal organs because you're exercising them. And it's a way to exercise every single muscle in your body, including your eyes and around your eyes. So it will help to improve your vision. You can literally, with one of these, just use it 15 minutes a day and actually get pretty buffed after a while. Okay? So please, I encourage everyone, and I think because of my experience that I went through, I have an appreciation for my health better than many people. If, if, if you go through life and you don't have anything wrong except occasionally getting a paper cut, you don't have the appreciation of keeping a strong immune system. All right? And this next one... If you'll see here, it says massage, number four. And I'm going to show you a couple different massages to help move the lymph in your breast. And then outside here, I want you to put the word castor oil. Write the word castor oil there. And then I'll tell you about that in a minute. Great. These are two different massages. One's going to get the deeper lymphatic vessels, and the other is going to get the ones that are just right under the surface of the skin. All right? And this is, this is so critical. I'm amazed at how many people, how many women are actually afraid to look at themselves to touch themselves so they don't even have a clue what's going on with their tissue. You know, I, some women that I've spoken to, they're like, oh, no, I just wait until I go to the doctor and they tell me what's going on. Well, I think it's very important to empower yourself so that you know what's going on yourself, all right? And then if something is like a little off, you go, oh, that's just a little lymph node swollen. Let me watch it for a few days. Yep, that's what it was. Allergies were in the air. Okay, instead of freaking out, because that's what people do. I mean, sometimes they go, oh, I go like this. You know, don't be afraid of your body. <laughs> it's with you for a long time, okay? So we're going to talk about the deeper one first. And a real simple step is if you take, and men, I'm going to have you do it too, okay? So it's not just us women rotating our breasts in here. So put your little pinky under that, under your breast along that rib there, and you're going to put your hands on here. And also this will help you 
with the breast tissue to actually firm it up, okay? But you're first going to do an upward and outward rotation, and this is dispersing stagnant lymph fluid. Yep, you got it up and out, up and out, okay? Anyone who's wanting a breast reduction, this will, if you only do this, you'll reduce the size of your breast, okay? So you want to make sure you go in. Okay? Not only that, is you make sure you bring in new lymphatic fluid, fresh lymphatic fluid. Okay? Same thing occurs here. If you go in more than out, what's going to happen? You're going to get an increase in your breast tissue. Okay? But also don't be afraid to just really get in there and massage. This is tissue. This is muscle. This is fat. This is glands. Know your tissue. I think it, I honestly think it's an atrocity that you go into a massage therapist, they won't get near your chest. Okay? Excuse me, but this is part of my body. Alright? All these lymphatic vessels, I think it absolutely should be part of it. Alright? If you're in a relationship, ask your partner to work on your breath. Alright? It helped tremendously in your health. Then the second one has to do with the light touch. And this helps to get all the little lymphatic capillaries that are just under the skin. They're just barely under the skin. And what you do is you start with your fingertips close to the nipple and you just brush. It's just a very light movement. All right? And this moves the lymph. Okay? Now, I had you write down castor oil. I've had a few clients who have developed a hardening or a calcification in their breath. Okay? And the castor oil, if you take and you massage it into the breast, will actually help to soften those calcifications. And it helps to heal anything that's even within the lymphatic system. Is everybody in this room familiar who Edgar Casey is? I'm getting a nod. A couple no. Edgar Casey is a man who's deceased now. Um, interesting, he was a photographer, he was a Baptist Sunday school teacher, and he was also known as the Sleeping Prophet. And phenomenal man, if you like to read about his life, there's a book, as a good starter, is known as Sleeping Prophet. And he used castor oil, and castor oil of hats a lot in his treatment. And um, I'll be happy if anybody wants information on how to do castor oil packs. I can give that to you. Okay. Huh. Yes, with castor oil packs. Yes. And um, in Latin, the original name for castor oil means oil from the palm of Christ, which I find real interesting. And so it has a very healing property. So, you know... Please rub it into your breast tissue. Or if you feel like you've got a lot of hardness in your stomach, rub it in your stomach. Okay. Yes, yeah. 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 it works. Actually, it does. It, um, I've known some women that soaked a tampon in castor oil and inserted it, and in a few days their body aborted the cyst. Yes, you can use the castor oil anywhere and it'll be beneficial. Yeah. Okay, let's go down this one, the lymphatic breath. I'm starting to get a signal back there. Okay, we're going to have to hurry, but we will. The lymphatic breath, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn your sternum into a pump. I know, it's interesting, isn't it? Make sure when you do this, you're sitting down to begin with, okay? And make sure you're not facing anybody in case you spit. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through one cyclic breath, and then I'll show, and then I'll explain it, all right? And I'll turn to the side just in case. <laughs> Okay, it's in, out, in, out, in, out, 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 out. 
And it's a hard inhale through the nose and a hard swish, almost like a shooing, with the out breath. So what this does, it turns this into a pump. Okay? So it's in, out, in, out, in, out, 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 out. Okay? So let's do that one time, and then we'll go on to the next two steps. They're short ones. But it's important that you get this down correct, because some people go, choo, choo, and that is not going to move anything. Okay? Except you make cute noises. <laughs> okay? So, let's go. Ready? There we go. And if you sit a little, it is okay. <laughs> okay. It will make you dizzy if you do it right. That's why I say sit down. And what you want to work up to is six cyclic breaths at one time. Not even spread throughout the day. All right? So, like, if you feel allergy season coming on or a cold, do this. Do it before you get totally clogged up in the head, and it will move it. All right? Next one here, compresses. And I touched on this just a teensy, teensy bit with the castor oil pack. But if you get, like, a hand towel, wring it out with some warm water, put the towel over your breath, okay? and increase the circulation there. If you want to rotate hot, cold, hot, cold, you can do that. But allow yourself to get some circulation in there. Um, one of the things that I got for myself, and I love it, is a far infrared sauna because it helps you sweat and it gives that heat to your body. And uh, But this is a way to help with circulation. All right. Get the four-person unit because you can lie down in it. Okay. The last on the list, and we might have time for maybe a question or two, otherwise we have to take it out there so we don't interrupt the next speaker, has to do with warm liquid. All right. Most people run around drinking cold liquids with ice, refrigeration, and what happens with your body when you're cold. Right. You constrict and close. What do you think that does to your blood vessels, your lymphatic vessels? Same thing. It constricts. But if you drink room temperature or warm, it's going to allow the fluidity to continue. All right. There's only one time I tell people to drink cold water. And I'll tell you that so you know. And it is in a book having to do with water therapies. And I think I listed the book back here. Yes, complete book on water therapy. Is people who have constipation, when you get up in the morning, first thing is you'll drink 20 ounces of refrigerated water your your co-intestines go into shock. It's like, whoa! And so it kind of helps push that out, okay? So other than that, drink room temperature or warm water. I'm down to just maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> so if there's a question otherwise, yes? What type of sun that you suggest? Far infrared. F A R I N for F R E D infrared, yeah. I absolutely love it. It actually helps to heal the nervous system as well as the heart. Oh, what kind of sauna did I mention? Yeah, yeah. Heart. I'm sorry, say uh, You'll have to do research on the internet. Please make sure when you do. It, I'm winding it up. You can email me. My email address should be on here, and I can actually tell you where I got mine. How's that? It's Beth Carpenter. Yep, I did put it on there. Beth Carpenter at earthlink.net. I can tell you where I got my sauna. Okay. I want to thank you for being here. 
And I hope that you'll listen to some more lectures and come listen to me again sometime. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of stand out here for a few minutes so the next person can come in. So if anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much.